Hello and welcome, this is Honeysuckle bringing you the player update for episode 8 of the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for May 2017. And jumping right in, alphabetical order by channel name, we have Baker Bell. She emerged from underground to work more in her bakery restaurant, getting the roof completed and doors up and a few windows in. Next we have Block Samurai. She worked on her house, placing, uh, planning out more of the layout with different rooms and adding more walls. Uh, next we have Dad Craft. He finished the roof on his mausoleum, dealt with a few mobs, then headed into the nether for more quartz to redo the crypt. Then he put in some more graves along the pathway leading up to the mausoleum. Next we have DJ Paul. In his episode 8, he was still down in the mines looking for diamonds. He found a ravine with a mine shaft and ended the episode back above ground fighting several mobs that had shown up. Next we have Dragon Feathers. She worked on her garden and made some stairs and two water features at the end of the garden, so it looked very nice. Then she did a little bit of fishing before heading back down to the caves. Moving right along, we have Felonius Wizard. In his episode 8, he worked out the redstone for his mouse trap, building a fake cliff wall to hide the wiring from the two leggeds before nightfall forced him back underground, where he tested on the redstone to work out how to build his trap effectively. Alright, next we have Granny Scott Games. She posted episode 3 and 4, um, trying to get caught up. So in her episode 3, she gathered some baked potatoes, then left her hidey hole to head back to the village to gather more food, battled a few mobs before heading underground, chasing witch giggles. In episode 4, she picks up, still tracking down the witches in the caves, but they are hiding too well. So she gives up and heads back up, where she runs into several zombies, including a baby zombie who got the better of her. Better luck next month. Next, we have John Fell 92 in his episode 8. He worked on fixing the paths in the village, making them easier to navigate, before hunting down some oak trees to use for furniture in his home. He did a lot more of the interior decorating before ending the episode with some skeleton hunting. Next, we have Scotty Garbitas. In his episode 8, he did some inventory management before heading up and heading out to explore more of the cave system and finally found more diamonds, where he set up a new home base, even managing to grow a tree down in the cave. He mined up some obsidian, made an enchanting table, and enchanted his armor to get ready for a trip to the nether in his last episode. Next we have Tim Ober, Captain Hook 5150. He made a daylight sensor and wired it up to redstone lamp in his cave to help him know when it turns day or night while he's underground. Then he went further in the caves to explore. Next we have TSG Gaming. In his episode 8, he did some inventory management and gathered a few supplies before heading back to his graveyard and building a crypt with spooky lighting using netherrack and fire, some slabs, and redstone torches, magma blocks. Looking very good down there. And last, we have my episode 8 that I just finished recording. It's still actually rendering. But in that episode, I basically um, do some more work on the house. It's pretty much done except for the roof which I decided to go with spruce I did get managed to grow two giant spruce to cut down and we will be finishing up that in the next episode so that's it for the updates if I missed anyone I am sorry just leave a comment and I will try to catch you in the next one so until then bye